Welcome to Creator Studio. This video will briefly walk you through what Creator Studio can do and how it can help you create and sell the best yearbook your school or group has ever seen. Let's get started. Creator Studio is broken into three main areas, learn, create, and sell. The learn area presents you with the latest updates, support, and resources as you manage and sell your yearbook projects. Check back here often to see what's new and be sure to check out what's new in Milestone Academy. Milestone Academy helps you grow in your yearbook and journalism journey with its online courses and community. The create area is where you manage and design projects. All your projects are listed here. The sell area is where you set up and manage your online yearbook store and where you submit your orders to get printed and shipped. Let's dive into the Create tab and open a project. I'll open this project I've already been working on. The project will open on the dashboard. The dashboard is where you see at a glance information about your project. For example, the top left of the dashboard gives me a status summary of the pages in my book. I see I have 91 pages in progress and 10 pages locked. Also see in this area how close the project is to the estimated deadline. I had set for myself when I created it. When I set up this project, I chose to have it organized by sections. So I will see on the left side of the dashboard, a list of my covers and pages by section. This is where I can add or remove sections and pages. To the right is a summary of my pricing and sales, which we'll get into in a minute. Below that is where you manage your team members and assign them specific pages. Below that is where you can review photos and parent ads and where you manage portrait photos. I'll talk more about photos and parent ads in a minute. But speaking of portraits, let's take a quick look at that. I can click on the Manage button from here or on People in the left menu. Here are listed all the portraits that I imported from my photographer's PSPA file. We also have a feature called My Yearbook Photo where you can request portrait photos directly from families. The request will guide the student or parent to shoot and upload their portrait photo. These requested portraits will appear in this people management area where you can review them. It's great for requesting reshoots or students who've missed picture day. Aside from portrait photos, there are the photos you and your team upload to your project. Those can be managed from the photos area, which I can also get to from the left menu. Each section in your project will receive a folder or if the project is ladder based, then you can create folders. Choose a folder or section and click add photos. From here, you can choose from a number of photo sources or drag and drop photos from your computer. You don't have to be limited to the photos you and your team upload. However, you can request others to contribute photos for use in the yearbook. That's where contributed photos comes in. You can access contributed photos from the left menu. Click the request photos button. Then copy and share the link shown. Anyone with the link can upload photos. Once photos start coming in from the school community, you can review and approve them here. Also available are parent ads or dedications or senior dedications or whatever you call them. You'll first need to turn on parent ads and set up the sizes and prices. Parents can then visit the link you share with them where they can design and purchase their ad. Submitted ads will appear here where you can approve or request changes. Now let's go back to the dashboard and start editing a page in this project. I'll go to the list of sections and expand one of them to view its pages. I'll open this page here. We're now in the editor. At the center is the page content you can edit. At the bottom you can see your available photos as well as switch between groups of photos. On the left are different control panels. These panels will change depending on what you have selected on the page. For example, if I click a photo, I will get the controls for editing that photo. Let's look at a couple of things I can do with this photo. First, I can click on the filter slash adjust button. This will give me an array of preset filters. Also available are various adjustments such as brightness and exposure. Let's look at the shapes panel. Here, I can mask the photo using one of these shapes, such as this one. Let's look at editing text. I'll select this headline here. 
I get a floating control panel under the text box where I can choose from a variety of font styles and sizes. Format text further with the controls on the left such as applying a drop shadow or adjusting the text spacing. In this project, I have been using a pre-made theme built into Creator Studio. You can find all our themes from the themes panel on the left. Then choose from different layouts, all ready for you to fill in with photos and text. Or you can browse the layouts panel to choose from a library of basic layouts. But there's more. You can browse the page backgrounds library. or open the Elements panel to drop a text box onto the page or choose a shape from the Shapes library or choose pre-designed artwork from the Art library. There's plenty of pro-designed features here to help you create your yearbook. Finally, let's head back to check out the cell area of Creator Studio. As you are creating your yearbook, you can start to collect pre-orders in an online store. First, you'll need to create a store using the new store button at the bottom. Then, year after year, you can publish your projects to this store. For example, in my store, I have one project for sale. It's the one we were just working on. I'll want to share the link listed here so people can start buying the book. I can also download a QR code to print on a flyer or wherever. Let's see how sales are doing. Similar to the project dashboard we saw earlier, this is my sales dashboard for this project. In the top left, I can see how my sales are doing. Not so well, since this is just a demo project. I can set up a goal here and track my progress. And below that, I can see a breakdown of each item being sold. To see each order and customer, I can click on View All Orders. On the right of the dashboard, I can put a pause on accepting orders or I can edit the order deadline that customers see in the store. Below that is the price I have set for this book. I have chosen to subsidize my book with other funds, so I have lowered the price below the book's actual cost. But I don't have to do it this way. I can mark up the price to actually make a profit on the sale of the yearbook. And speaking of price, I can also create coupon codes here from the left menu. For example, I created a $5 off coupon code that I can then share out. Customers with the code can enter it at checkout to receive the discount. Finally, when I have finished creating the yearbook and have collected all the pre-orders, then I'll return to my sales dashboard and follow this checklist in the submit to production area. Once I submit to production, the yearbook orders will be sent to the printers and delivered. That is a quick walkthrough of Creator Studio we're excited to have you see everything else it can do and to work with you this and every school year. Thanks for watching.